I am here with Bishop T.D. Jakes and his beautiful wife, Sarita Jakes. Hi. All right. Now, I wanted to know, how would this movie, Black Nativity, differ from your past movies, Women Thou Are Loose? What are the comparisons and, I guess, the differences between both movies? Oh, huge difference. When you uh, consider Jumping the Broom and Sparkle, Women Are Loose, some of the other things that we've done, none of our movies have ever been alike, and this is true to form. We've never done a musical before. Uh, we've never done a movie that really focused on the family of a pastor before, ironically. And so this is an opportunity for us to do something that shows the humanity of the pastor and the struggle of the family in general in a way that I think people can come out and find out, hey, my family doesn't have to be perfect to be able to enjoy this film and maybe I can use something to get back together again and hook it up between the people I love. Now you are the executive producer. What made you want to jump on board with this film and just be a part of it? Well, you know, first of all, it's a pastor's family. Why would I not jump on board with that? And then it's a great opportunity from the standpoint of the tremendous cast that we have. And I love to do things that you can bring the whole family to and not have to cover up the kids' eyes. Yeah. You know, and I think during the holidays when so many people wrestle with depression, yeah. to do something that's uplifting and rejuvenating, that doesn't show this picture-perfect family and make people feel like if you don't have it all together, you can't enjoy the holidays, it's a great way to reach that audience. Yeah, it is a holiday musical drama. So what would you say, what are some of your favorite carols that you enjoy in the movie and in your personal life? Well, Silent Night is an all-time favorite. I mean, you can't really have Christmas without it. And uh, for me personally, Oh Come All Ye Faithful is a, is a great film. In the, in the movie, though, the, the song Be Grateful is absolutely amazing. It's incredible. Jennifer Hudson rocks it. <laughs> Do you have any projects or in store, any books? Um, I know I watch you on the Word Channel all the time, but anything in store coming up, Russ? I've got a lot of things. I've, I've got a book coming out in the spring that I'm working on called Instinct that I'm very proud of. It really moves not just in a spiritual dimension, but kind of helps people to understand that if you listen at your instincts, you can tie into your divine purpose and be far more effective in business, in your career, in your personal life. And it's just teaching people about the power of instinct. What would you say that the youth can expect from actually, you know, from after seeing the movie? I think the youth are going to walk away and they're going to feel gratified. Anytime you can see yourself on screen, you're really going to enjoy it that much more. And and the character Langston in the movie is a younger version, a younger generation with a younger type of hip hop. Uh, swag to him, you know, he got swag. Did I say swag? Yeah, yeah I said swag. That's cool. Yeah, and, and I think they're really going to enjoy it. Well, God bless you, and thank you for stopping to speak with us both. Thank, thank you, guys. You. Enjoy.